Harrison Bryant. <laughs> All right, so moving past that, big night for the tight ends tonight. What do you think was working? Uh, we we just been trying to do everything we can help to win, and then we've been playing pretty good throughout the season, and they just kept adding 12 personnel in, and it was a big night for us because the way they adjusted to uh, 12 personnel, we really liked it, so we just stayed with it all night. How satisfying was this after the last game of last year? Did that kind of stick in your guys' heads or bad taste through the off season to, to get another shot at these guys? Yeah, it felt great because last season we should have, it was a it was just a shootout and we felt like we should have came out on top, but we didn't. So this year we, we knew we had to practice and prepare because they're a great team and we just came out and played great. Defense got the ball back for you several times. Was it obvious that they were taking it personally. Oh yeah, the defense. They every game they try to get the ball back as many times as we can, and we just try to capitalize on that. And they did a great job tonight. Obviously, on offense, Mulder had four touchdowns. He said it hadn't really hit him yet. When you're out there with him, you know, is there a point where you say, "Oh my God, look at what our running game is doing." Yeah, when you get there, like you'll be blocking somebody, and then you'll let him go, and then you think he's tackled, but he's still running. He, it's ridiculous. Like some of the stuff he does is ridiculous. How does um, Jason handle this um, quarterback change? So how was he in the huddle? Was he pretty calm? And yeah, but both quarterbacks, uh, they do a great job of controlling the huddle and like all the plays. As you, like The clock got down uh, several times and they did a great job communicating. And we got several penalties where they're on the field, like 12 men, and he did a great job of getting the ball snapped and we got extra yards, just cheap five yards. What made Devin's play so spectacular tonight? You know, he's had a couple of good, great weeks here. You know, you see him every day in practice. Yeah. What what stood out to you in your mind today? He, like every week, he prepared. Like he prepares and works his works his butt off every week. And when he comes out here, he's always ready. And he has like the mentality that nobody's going to stop him or anything. And he just he's a great player. You've had some good games already this year, but with John involved in it too. Is that how cool is that for you to see? It's, it's, it's great when like, the, as many tight ends can get in as possible, and it's even better when we both are out there making plays and helping do whatever we can do. Is there a difference? It seems like at the beginning of camp you were working really well with Daniel Park, and now you, know, it seems, now you and Driscoll seem to be getting together a little bit more too. Is, it, is that just a growth process, or how is that? Yeah, I feel, I feel like both, both of our quarterbacks are great, and when they get out there, they do what we need to do, and we just make plays. I feel like we got a good connection, everybody does, with both quarterbacks. Fairly clean game on offense. I mean, no picks, really no penalties. You think that's just getting more comfortable five games into the year? Yeah, and we stressed that throughout the like we've stressed that throughout the season. Uh, a bunch of dumb penalties, holding, just stuff we can control, and we uh, stress ball control all the time. We worked out of practice for a good like the first ten minutes of practice. We worked ball like ball ball control. All right, thank you. Thanks. Thanks.